Welcome to Forward Not Fetal. Funny story, I just started this whole thing and went for kind of a while and it turns out I didn't hit play or record or whatever the hell I'm supposed to do. I didn't do it. Anyway, so this is number 29, which means I am starting week five of my daily vlogging, which is it's pretty impressive for me. Uh, it's really cool. I am I feel like saying I'm proud of myself that I've done something every day for a month. Um, but I am. It is something that I struggle with, like creating routines, consistency, follow through. Those are all things that hit me right in my HD, ADHD feels. And, um, you know, I've really been trying to create routines to help me be successful in ways I want to be successful. I don't mean like artificially like I have to do X, Y, and Z because society thinks I should be doing versus like there's things I want to get done and fighting my own brain to get them done sucks like it really sucks when your mind is fighting against you I call them my brain weasels sometimes my brain weasels are chill and sometimes they're just brain weasels just freaking out inside my head and not really letting me get things done that I think are important like not crazy stuff even but just like being able to truly be present and interactive with my kid which is super important to me probably the most important to me and so I've been on I had added Wellbutrin to my regimen in the mornings and I you know at this point I think I've been on it probably five six weeks um and you'll note I've been doing this every day so I'm kind of feeling like just in general so far the Wellbutrin is working for me um, and, uh, and it's subtle. It's not like I magically all of a sudden think differently per se, but it is easier for thoughts to become action at this point right now. Uh, even when I'm having down times or I'm a little depressed or just overwhelmed or, or my anxiety is driving the bus, even then the ability to accomplish seems higher. Like the getting things started, which is always the, the hugest first step, at least for me in ADHD, is starting the task. I really like talking about James Clear. One of the things he mentioned, it's by, it's it's kind of, I think, somebody else's thing, and I don't remember who, but it's the two-minute rule um, where I, I when you're thinking of a task, instead of like doing a huge plan around it, it's what can I do to start this task in the next two minutes? and it creates a little bit of urgency and a really specific versus later like for me later might as well be in three or four you know epochs like so far away it's almost like it just doesn't matter later doesn't exist for me and i'm coming to grips with i'll do that later well what what no when are you going to do that are you going to do it at nine o'clock like picking that Or more importantly i i have like a one three five list which i haven't been great about um but i pulled them out because it also helps me, you know, between, well, realistically, um, you know, motherhood ruins your brain for a little while. And I do think it's like the, you know, being sleep deprived for a year, that's not good for you. That's so not good for your brain. Um, and I'm recovering, but even though like he's been sleeping through the night for a while now, but like one, I still have insomnia going into all this. But then, you know, I have an insane sleep debt, uh, sleep debt to make up for, and um, I just get tired easier. Uh, you know, my, I, I am like, you know, your brain only has so much capacity. A lot of my brain, I'm working on to, you know, be with my kid and to keep him alive and keep me alive and to keep like us doing things that don't suck, like playing and just stuff like that and so like realizing that like those parts of my brain I used to use for other things they are not currently available because they're being used for something important and it's okay uh but trying to you know regroup and you know it's especially important since I have more limited time and limited just energy for you know non-kid stuff that 
using that time as wisely as possible is a goal of mine. It's something I try for. It's why I do this first thing in the morning, even though Scott's like, you always complain about the upload. And I'm like, no, our upload speeds are, speeds are slow. But what it means is I can't not do this video first thing in the morning because if I don't, it might not upload by midnight. If I wait till the afternoon, I'll be cutting it close. Will I still count it? Conceivably, yes. Like if we go out of town, I'm not gonna sweat. Like, like, come on, I'm just, I'm, I'm not gonna ruin myself over these, but I am trying to do them even if they're short or what have you, just because it helps me create a routine. And so I'm really working on my 135 and my um, two minute rule. What do I do? What can I do? to start this task in two minutes. It doesn't mean finish the task. If it's writing something, it's, I don't have to write, but I have to open the document and read the last paragraph or read the, like that last chapter and just go like, see what happens. And frequently, less so right now, but if I can get to that point, it's just like, I don't have to go work out, but I have to get dressed, get in the car and get there. Once I get there, I don't wanna go in or I just really don't want to, I can turn around and come back. Not that I go to the gym in a while, but when I did go to the gym, that was the, that was the rule. My friend Sarah um, uh, shared that with me uh, several years ago, and it's something that I always keep in my head, uh, especially when I'm feeling like anxious about social situations where I don't have to stay if I'm feeling upset or not feeling well, but I'm gonna get dressed, I'm gonna put makeup on, I'm gonna put, clothes on. I'm going to go there. I'll make an appearance. And if I still don't feel good, I can come home. Typically, once I get there, my social anxiety has eased because part of it is the fear of the unknown. And once I'm there, it's known. Uh, and that's really helped me a lot with um, leaving the house more often ish. Most people would not think I leave the house very often, but I'm working on it. I'm working on it, people. Anyway, so that's been my daily vlog. Um, really pleased that the kid is still asleep. That means he's going to have a nice, solid, like, chunk of sleep this morning, which means we're going to have a fantastic day. I hope you are all having a lovely Monday. Mm. Well, I hope you're having the best Monday you can have. It's just a Monday after all. It's the start of a fresh week. Everybody, every day you get to start again and every week you get to start again. So yeah, it's a new day. It's a new dawn. I hope you are all having a good week and, uh, you know, like this video. If you are inclined to do such things, comment, share, subscribe, all of that stuff that makes YouTube like people, I guess. I don't know. I should probably put that on my list of things to figure out, but it has not been very important. So I'm not super worried about it. Like comment, subscribe. I will see you guys tomorrow. I hope you have an awesome day.